In this video, we're going to focus on how we can grab a data that we put in here and then in the API, we'll search for that. So for example, if I do here 5J and then if I click away, it would trigger this. And then the next one, for example, Zebra 2. And if I click on this, there you are. You can see it extracts now another airline and another one here. Let's say KL and then we get here KLM. Absolutely phenomenal. So with this, we basically use the API as our database. So let's start to look how to connect this. So let's start to look how we can get the value from an input and then extract that from the API. So first of all, we have all of this code here. And if you don't have it, make sure you watch part one of this. So what I want to do now is first of all, we're going to create this input because by default, it will just always load Cebu Pacific as the airline, which is fine. But in this case, I want to now start to get, get some additional value. So I'm going to say an input here. And this input will get an ID and I'll call this the airline code. Very simple. And once we have this, what I want to do here, well, that's all I hit. All right. What I want to do here is I want to start grabbing that specific value. So maybe what we can do here, just say here by default, a value. We do this and I'll say here 5J. We should get the same value now, but then from this point. So how do we do that? Well, basically we could do here a constant for now. And this constant will be, uh, well, let's say here airline code equals and say document dot get element by ID element by ID. That's the right term. And I'm going to say here will be airline code and we say here dot value very straightforward because I want to get not only the ID of the element, which is basically the entire element, but I want to extract this specific value of it. So if I do this and put it in here, but if we do this, what we need to do here is we're going to remove these string values and going to make them in backtick. So backtick here and a backtick there. And I'm going to take a dollar sign like that and put in this value. So what we, what we really need here is basically say here template literal so we can do this values here. So if I save that. Then if I refresh, all right, apparently this should work, but it doesn't. All right, get element by ID, my bad. Save, refresh, there we are. We get super Pacific. And if I would say here KL, save, we get KOM. All right, so this works, but let's start to make it a bit more dynamic because right now it's still quite structure what we want to do is we want to trigger this only the moment we have changed the value so we're going to say on change we can do on input as well but with on input what truly happens is it will trigger every time the function when you put in a single character which i don't want i want to trigger it the moment we basically we are done typing here and then we click away at that moment it will trigger it and maybe we should have you maybe a select item because that would be probably a bit more appropriate well, that's another video. So we're going to say here on change and then we're going to say here, uh, then in that case, we say here, I guess like it, get airline. Very simple. Here we could say here this, that could be as well, but I won't be needing that. I will just use the value we have here. So it doesn't matter. Or maybe we could even use it. This doesn't matter. I guess we should maybe have this here. That'll be more practical because we won't be using this anymore. So what we're going to do here now is we're going to say here on change, and this will be a function of get airline that we have here. Let's put that in there correctly. And here and it will be the value or the input. So what I'm going to do here now, I can basically cut this entire item, squeeze that between here, but we're not done yet, of course. So we have this, give this a full indent. All right, indentation. Now, what I want to do here is basically this input. If I do a console log, you will see that this input will be getting a full item. So if I save that and I will say here airline code and it will be this, this will be the entire item. So if I say refresh and now if I do here, let's say KL and click away, as you can see here, it starts to trigger it. It does work, but it still gets, of course, 5j. The reason why it gets 5j is apparently it recognizes hard-coded value. Now we're going to delete this, say try again, KL, 
click away, then it will trigger, and then alright, so you get some issues here now, it says IATA code is not found, fair enough. So the reason why is probably it doesn't recognize the value here, get airline this and airline ID of value. Well, it probably doesn't find this one here. The reason why it doesn't find this, and that makes sense of course, because this is within a block here, so it might not be able to read this or something else. Anyway, let's look at number 25. We get here the full information with this. And this, of course, is not what we want. What is the this specifically? If I say here, this the value we should get now the specific value let's say kl click all right so this doesn't work because it needs to be caps locked so do it again all right it say it sees your certain item but it struggles this all right however this one here the console log number 25 shows this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this put it in here save refresh kl click there we are 5j there they are uh, zebra 2 we should have that as well yeah air asia of course yeah, there is so we have this now and then you can see it starts to add up automatically however with this basically we can do all these kind of things and if you want to clean up we have to basically remove these elements so here we have the append and probably have to, to remove them but that will be another video as well however you can see here now we can start to create a simple search and if you really look carefully it's just like a database but the database is not on your website or on your hosting it is someone else database that you're able to retrieve and that's it